going on guys how's everybody doing out there today we got a shelby g2350 uh install and an end gauge install my buddy's 5.0 so yeah we're gonna be doing that um on his 5.0 so i'm gonna be taking you guys along with me so let's get started yeah, bro, you're about to go you're gonna do e85 too man i want to but I don't feel like I'm gonna do this for that, for that tone. Yeah, and then you're gonna get a horrible gas mileage. Oh, uh, I, 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 I like that. Yeah. Like, like, that's without racing. Yeah. I mean, if you're racing a lot, I would do, do it. Yeah. Oh? But if you're not racing that much, you're gonna race a lot, right? You're gonna be racing sometimes. Yes, yeah, sir. I'll just stay on 93. I mean, I've heard good and bad things about it. Though. A lot of people say that it's like good, but I've seen a lot of people's engines break. Yeah. David. Open este primero, motherfucker. Open este primero para checking up. I'm be like them 13, 20 people. So what's all done to your car? All right, guys, we're taking this piece off right here for the trunk so we can get better access to the trunk. Right, David? Right. right. <laughs> Stefan, you got your shoes in here. Those are your work shoes? Bro, I, I went to the meet and I got so many compliments from the, for the spacers. And they were like, damn, bro. Because my back will stick out too, they were like, damn, that looks mean as hell. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people came. You did one, one inch drop or one and a half all around? One point one. Oh, you sure it's, it's like 1.1? Yeah. It looks like 1.5. Nah. It's like, it don't look that low. Oh, yeah, you're right. Then if you look at another Mustang, it's like, it looks good. Oh. It's a neutral one. Bro, they took like, like, these one guys did it, and they took like a whole day to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were like, this
Right, Stefan. GT350, right? You got it from uh, LMR? Yeah, one day. One day? Damn. Oh, yeah, because they're in Texas. We're in Texas, too. Only bad day, man. You got to pay taxes. It was 400, right? Well, like three, three. It was, it was 399. I had used the discount code with the taxes. They just still brought it up over for like 400 or something. Alright, putting the end gauge in, too, guys, for his AC vent. One. All right, guys, got the end gauge put in. Uh, if you guys don't know, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's not that hard. Just got to take this silver piece out, pops out, put your fingers here, and then you just wired it right under the steering wheel through there, and it comes up through here, through the vent in the back, pull it out, put the end gauge in, slap it back on. Pretty simple. Got that in. Stefan got the spoiler. It's about to wash it up and it's about to head out. Anyways, I forgot to mention guys, um, there's more stuff coming from a 5.0 here, almost full bolt-ons. Uh, hopefully, I will be going full bolt-ons, I just need a manifold and maybe might do 85 And then uh, maybe more stuff coming for the car um, here in the near future. So if you guys stick around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, video of uh, the Shelby GT350 uh, install and uh, end gauge install if you guys have any questions about the install of the end gauge or the shelby bumper that we put on this red 5.0 just drop them down below or you can go ahead and dm me on instagram at immune 5.0 put it right here it's right on my car i m m u n e 5.0 you can message me directly there and follow me if you guys want or just comment straight down below yeah if you guys like the video make sure to drop a like and uh Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, stick around to the channel, and see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Yo, Tommy